Good morning viewers. This is Caesar on a beautiful sunrise morning with a bonus episode of Monday. <laughs> yes, a bonus episode. Because uh, I feel like it. <laughs> and this story is still fresh in my mind. Uh, yeah, so basically it's Monday story time. <laughs> Hope everybody's had a good weekend. Uh, I had a pretty good weekend, except for a couple of glitches. Um, I have an electronic electric fuel pump, and I don't want to tell everyone it's faulty or anything like that, but um, when I was putting my wiring back in, I guess I put too much tension on the ground cable, and <laughs> uh, I hit a bump, and uh, I forgot to put the bracket on my battery. <laughs> on the top, you know the little bracket that goes across the top to strap it down? Well, I hit the bump, and uh, it the battery literally jumped out of the thing, and it was sitting like this in the battery case, and I pulled the ground wire out for the fuel pump. So eventually, the uh, float bowl on the fuel pump uh, kind of just ran out of gas, pulled over to the side of the road, and I'm trying to start it. And you know, it's easy to tell when the fuel pump isn't working, uh, or it's off or there's not getting power or something is because uh, as soon as you start it, you can hear a whole bunch of clicks I mean the, the original one you could hear click too, but this one just is always pumping gas um, The only reason it stops pumping gas is because the float on the valve and the float bowl of your carburetor blocks the entrance of more fuel coming in And it works out good um, as long as you have a good carb, I guess so uh, I pulled over to the side of the road, took off the battery box. And you know what's the funny thing is, the story, before I went and pulled the, before we got on the ruckuses to go for a ride, uh, I was like, hey, should I bring my backpack? It has all my tools in it. And I was like, nah. And then Lee was like, you know, and I told myself that earlier, like, I'm going to always bring my tools, especially in experimental rides. And, uh, well, I didn't have a screwdriver to take the battery box off. Fortunately, um, Lee did. He had all his tools. And uh, I was able to uh, <laughs> get the battery box off and uh, twist the wire onto another ground wire uh, connector piece. Anyways, that's not even the story. Uh, now it's great. I came back, put it on, and it's great. Uh, I also have this new gas cover. Uh, and then also yesterday, uh, I hit a really uh, weird bump where it practically launched the ruckus in the air. Uh, and then uh, I noticed, I looked in the back, and I forgot to put the spacers and washers on the top part of the shock mount, the part that's on the frame, and it was crooked. So I was going to go ahead and fix it, right? So as I'm unscrewing the bolt, it's not coming out. But then at the same time, I noticed the front part of the screw, the, the top part of the screw is moving and the back part of the screw isn't. Well, come to find out, because I didn't put the spacers in the shock mount, uh, it was sitting sideways. And I guess when I hit that bump, it was too much because the shearing force was sideways instead of directly on the bolt. And I literally snapped the bolt in half. And it was a grade 10 bolt, or no, grade 8 bolt that was holding my suspension together, so that's a lot. <laughs> Ended up taking it out, putting some new, well, I didn't have spacers at that point anymore, so I put washers in. Uh, when I put the washers in, uh, it, it's straight now, and now my suspension isn't crooked, and uh, hopefully it won't break again. I used the stock bolt another stock suspension bolt in the back so we're all good anyways that's not even the story <laughs> that's just adventures in gy6 ruckus land uh that would have happened even if i had a uh, get motor so can't blame that on gy6 uh the fuel pump you can blame because I'm running a GY6, but I'm running in a, a technically a beta version or experimental version of a, an electronic fuel pump, which by the way has not failed me. Uh, Lee, at the Ruck, uh, Lee at Ruck City keeps wanting me to go to a Makumi fuel pump. Uh, I haven't been 
uh, suede yet. Uh, he is right that it's one less electronic thing for it to break, but uh, I promised uh, the person who uh, gifted me this fuel pump that I would continue to use it and I would have constant feedback. Well, so far my constant feedback is good. Just make sure your wiring on your battery is great. <laughs> All right, so the story. Everyone wants the official story of what I wanted to tell today and I made a whole entire special episode. This is it. So, um, we had a meet yesterday at Ruck City where we were all going to meet, clean up our bikes, and then go to, uh, go to, uh, cars and carts. Well, I used the same picture of the cars and carts, um, Facebook ad or Facebook event as mine but I doctored it put small engine velocity and put a whole bunch of other stuff on there uh, and made it look cool well people kept on uh, clicking on my uh, my event or the event or our event saying you know interested 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 and I was like oh my gosh there's like 170 people that are interested in like you know 15 20 people are saying that they're going so we got the place ready and all that stuff and then we're like you know what it's super bowl sunday who's gonna come well three o'clock rolls around uh no one's there and then uh well one person shows up and i'm not sure if i'm allowed to say his name so i'm not going to um and he shows up and it's cool and then this kid shows up in a Jeep with a V8, a TSI. I never even heard of a TSI Jeep. Cherokee, Grand Cherokee or Jeep Cherokee or something like that. I've heard of the uh, Eagle Talon TSI, but I guess it's kind of the same thing. It's made the same a company. So anyways, yeah, uh, you know, by the time five o'clock rolls around, no one comes, you know, except for this one person. So we all ride over there and I'm thinking it's gonna be just a little event. Man, it was big. There were like, and it wasn't just like Ferraris and Camaros and Mustangs, like, you know, and Porsches, like, like you usually see at coffee and cars. But it was like, there was like Supras and Miatas and Ricers and, and cool other cars there that I really enjoyed. Um, there was one thing that was pretty cool, it was a mini truck with a flatbed on it that was pretty cool i enjoy that oh man i'm behind a school bus so after the event i go ahead and uh you know we're done i go home and i look at the event and i'm like why didn't anyone come my gosh like so many people wanted to come to the shop and hang out and then go to you know ride their bikes i was like i was afraid we were gonna have too many bikes uh and then i look at the event and it says you know like 40 people went to the event you know they posted saying you know attended or here from my event link well come to find out what really happened was that I hijacked the actual events um, Facebook event I guess I guess in some cases I came up ahead Maybe these people were motorcycle riders but wanted to go to the thing, not necessarily scooter riders, and then uh, I came up before they did because we had similar interests or something like that. Uh, Facebook's algorithms is way weird than, uh, than uh, YouTube because YouTube can gather more personal met metrics and, and match you up with more events. So anyways, that's what happened. So the kid with the Jeep V8 was coming by the shop and uh, he uh, he was coming by the shop thinking he was going to the event uh, everyone else read the event and then went to the five o'clock portion of it because it had the address on it so that's what it was it wasn't that 180 or so people decided to come to, to the event it was 180 people decided to come to the event, not my part of the event, or me and Lee's in Ruck Cities. 
which is fine. I know next time to not use the same image or cover art for the event. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible. But, whatever. It was fun. Uh, there was a lot of people asking questions. I met a bunch of new people. A whole bunch of people were asking about ruckuses. The place was right next to the shop, so I could wear the t-shirt and point everyone out. I made a bunch of t-shirts to give away for the event, and, and uh, no one no one was there <laughs> at the shop to get it, so I guess we'll use it at the next event. Anyways, that's my story. Ruckus problems, and <laughs> that I had to fix, and uh, what was the last one? Oh, and, uh, and uh, an event that no one, that one person showed up for. One person that was legitimately there for what I was doing. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any comments about uh, the story. Let me know if you went to the K1 event and you didn't know anything about small engine velocity before, or now you do, uh, or if you saw anything that was interesting. I didn't get any footage. All I got was one picture. Uh, when I took my digital camera with me, my uh, Canon M50, I only had uh, zero memory cards in my camera again. I need to learn to carry a spare in my bag like a 32 or something cheap and put it in my bag just in case I need it because it seems like that's happened a few times now. Anyways, today's 30% chance, 34% chance of rain. Hopefully it doesn't rain. The rest of the week might. So this today's Monday episode might be uh, the last episode until uh, we get a good amount of no rain. Anyways, you know what? I can always ride the Zuma. The Zuma can handle a little bit of rain, so you never know. Anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see everybody next time. I love you guys. You win. I always got to play my little trumpet at the end. <laughs>